Hello everyone, how are you? I'm doing great and uh, I've been working on the audio quality of uh, my YouTube videos so that's why it's been quite some time now since I posted one. So today I'm going to tell you how to apply a concealer like a pro and how to cover your dark circles and uh, the use of primer and corrector as well. So let's begin. I'll be using NYX Photo Primer. This is uh, basically for normal skin and uh, you can also use uh, Pore Fashional Benefit by Benefit. This is uh, mainly for uh, oily skin. So just take a bit of uh, a drop of it on your hand and start applying. So you have to apply it normally all over your face, even your eye areas, your under eye areas. So uh, basically the use of a primer is that it acts as a base to your makeup. It uh, helps in applying the makeup easily and uh, now I'm gonna apply a corrector. It looks like this. It's by MAC. Uh, an orange corrector is mainly used to cover pigmented areas, dark circles, some dark, dark patches. So, and if you have redness on your skin, you, you should use a green corrector. Take a little bit on a brush, on a flat brush, and apply it under your eyes. Most of the Indian skin tones have a lot of pigmentation around the lip area. So you should apply it here as well. And now just blend. On a daily basis, I don't really use much of orange corrector because I don't uh, feel the need as I don't have too much of darkness or too much of uh, too many dark circles. So, in the beginning, initially you might feel that it's looking really, really red, but you don't have to get scared. Once you're done with this, now you have to apply concealer. I'm using MAC Studio Finish NW25. It looks like this. I'll be using my fingers to apply it. If you are a beginner, you should start with your fingers. Once you get a hang of it, you can start using a brush as well. Even blenders are really handy when you, when you have to blend makeup. So I'm covering the entire orange area with this. And even Concealer can be applied even on those areas wherever where you feel the need. Like if you have any blemishes or any marks or anything, you can just apply it. If your if your dark circles are too dark, you should start apply a concealer of the color of the dark circles and then apply a lighter lighter shade concealer. I don't really have much of this, uh, any skin problems but uh, I have these freckles which get easily covered when I apply the concealer or foundation. A 
a lot of people have asked me uh, what's my skin type so uh, it's very normal it's neither combination nor too uh, oily it's a bit of it more it more on the drier side so i have to apply a lot of moisturizer before applying my makeup Now I'll apply foundation. I use the Lancome 10 Miracle. You can read more about this on my blog. I have a, written a full review of this product. And uh, let's begin. Like first I'll uh, dot it all over my face. And now I just have to blend it. I'm using a stippling brush This is one brush you must own. It's uh, really nice to blend. It blends all your makeup easily. You can also use a blender to do the blending in this case. Liquid products are always easier to blend. So even if you use your fingers, you won't face much of a problem. Always remember that when you're blending, use your ring finger to blend. It's the required amount of pressure and it's not too hard on the skin. After that, I'm applying loose powder by Chanel. Uh, yes, it's translucent powder. It acts as a setting powder to your base. Don't forget to apply it uh, under your eye because it tends to form a crease. It always uh, happens that lines uh, form under, under your eye or over your crease area. So, just apply loose powder and you sort it. Tada! Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel Nena Rohel and uh, stay tuned as a lot of videos are coming up soon. Thank you for watching.